Today, I'll show you why Yujiro vs. Kuroki isn't close. Info for Yujiro will be from the latest Baki manga, same for Kuroki and the Kengen Omega manga. Though Kuroki's best showings are in Kengen Ashura, I still mention some Kengen Omega stuff. Let's gauge how strong these two really are. Kuroki is able to punch holes in steel plates with his fingers because of his Kaiwan style of training. He's said to have more powerful attacks than Wakatsuki. The same Wakatsuki fought Julius Reinhold and they shook the stadium with their fists colliding. In addition, Wakatsuki quote unquote also shook a mountain in his fight against Fei, my favorite character in the whole Kangen series. I don't believe that they shook the mountain though. I read the chapter over and over again, but nobody responded to the quote unquote stadium shaking. Even if it did, nobody nobody like talked about it in the manga, nobody acknowledged it. It's as if it didn't happen. But I'll let that slide. So I'm not adding it. But during Omega, uh Kuroki is just chilling. He's not really doing much. I mean, he trained one guy, and uh, in the recent manga of King and Omega, he's being referenced to because of his strength. I mean, but he's not really. He hasn't done anything. He has no f like no fights recently. Nothing like that. Yujiro, on the other hand, stopped an earthquake with a punch, and that's without Demon Back, which is his transformation, which multiplies his power. Which we don't know how how many times is multiplied, but I'm just gonna say the average three times multiplies of his power. Let's just say three. Because three is my favorite number. The earthquake feat, which is high balled, scales to being city level, and low balled being town level. Regardless of what it is, it's still higher than anything Kuroki can do. Speed-wise, Kuroki has kept up with probably the most like the fastest character in Ashura, Rei, when calculated, moved at Mach 2.5 for his peak speed. Even though Rei is called the Lightning God, he's not actually as fast as Lightning. It's just a name for him appearing to be fast like Lightning. Yudro literally dodged Lightning, which puts him around Mach 300. Wow. Ultimately, Yudro beats Kuroki. Like looking at any other stat will make any difference. Durability, we have Yujiro tanking attacks from characters relative to him. Yujiro also has more battle IQ, fighting for people everywhere, whenever he wants, and from his mercenary days. Honestly, this fight will play out like when Yujiro was fighting Dopo in the Grappler Baki manga. That would definitely be worst for Kuroki because he will be fighting the current Yujiro. Kuroki gets trumped in everything and gets blitzed. Yujiro wins. The strong is the beautiful.